Hey Pirates, um, a lot of people have been asking about good builds for the Twin Blade, so here I am hope, hoping to provide you with some good advice on, on how to get started. So the Twin Blade is a very good Conqueror hull, with a whole bunch of armor, good reload and damage and for missiles, extra projectile speed and it's very very focused on building damage, so if you look at the plus 200% building damage off the shelf and a lot of structure damage per second bonus per slot right it's also a very very strong tank uh, its only weaknesses are against ballistic damage so emancipators will hurt it the hyenas will hurt it as well as uh, heavy missile guard ships okay it also alone on its own cannot take on the concussive uh, damage coming from the outpost gun so it's usually better combined with sloths because the sloths will give, you, will, will give uh, extra concussive deflection to the twin blade or you can now use the concussive plate that was just released in bounty if you had a chance to get it okay um, it has a very good splash damage reduction and explosive damage so usually you don't have to worry much about mortars and I say usually because in some combinations you actually have to very low repair time of 30 minutes so let's take a look at what would you put on your twin blade starting with a missile based setup uh, geared towards doing damage to the enemy's base so the easy tip here is put missiles on it seriously that's what you have to put with twin blade came the clipper missiles very powerful again against buildings but they are weak against ships, so you know if you want to take down portals and turrets, that's a great way to get started. But I would never go completely clipper all the way unless you want to build that just to prep buildings and not be able to kill guards. Because a full clipper setup would be really weak against guards. So what you do is either now you complete with talents or manos. Okay, I'm gonna use the Manus missile now. So this guy has a very strong punch against ships and it's your better choice. Plus it has a chance of critical damage on enemies below 50% health, both ships and buildings. So that's the weapon setup, okay? Now let's take a look at specials. Well, first of all, you want some speed. So, I'm just going to go with the obvious choice here, Speed System 6. If you don't have it, of course, Speed System 5. It's a very, very ship, uh, fast ship. 63 combat, 62 turn. Very good. Next in line, um, Siege Battery. And if you have Siege Battery 4, go for it. If not, put Siege Battery 3, no problem. Um, now, as you can see, this ship has no stun or slow defense, so the next special you want is either the limited version, Agility System 4, if you don't have it, the regular Agility System 3 is almost as good. Okay, so that's the third special you want here. Now, we need something to put range and extra damage on this missile, so two things. Um, the AFT Razor Foils came with the Twin Blade, we released together, so it was made for the Twin Blade and I strongly recommend you use this guy. You gain accuracy, you gain projectile speed and you gain a lot of building damage. Okay, so now you see your building damage is already 1230 percent I and mean, that's ridiculously high the other special I recommend is the one that came with the Phoenix uh, the carbon fiber casing is going to give you extra reload and extra overall missile damage okay so now all you need is an extra special for range and here's where it gets tricky and it's all down to personal preferences okay there are like four options you can pick to give you the 30% missile range you need. Okay, so one of them is 
the advanced optical tracking. This one will give you accuracy, even more projectile speed, and the range you need. Okay? If you're gonna hit fleets, accuracy is good. If you're gonna hit bases, not as much. Okay, so that's not my favorite option here. Remember, that was created for Phoenix as well as an escalation weapon, fighting those drones with very high evade. That's why it gives accuracy. It's not really for base hitting. Okay, then we have a choice here that's interesting. It gives range and it gives extra reload and some anti-missile range. So I like the reload. It would be a good choice. Uh, if you go with that one, nothing against it. It might actually be the best choice and I don't know. Okay, then we have the guided missile system. Again, gives a lot of accuracy and we don't need accuracy hitting bases that much. Most guards don't have high evade anyways. So down here is my favorite option. Advanced Guided Systems. This special was actually created for Conquerors. It gives a little bit more accuracy, but it gives you a good flak evade bonus, which is good if the enemy is full of flanks. It doesn't help against the newest uh, countermeasure turret because that one's splash based. Okay, but it helps against flanks. So it's either this guy or this guy over here. And really, in my mind, it's down to personal choice. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna get the flak evade, especially because those missiles, they don't reload very fast. So there, that's the setup for all the specials. Next down, armor. So you can either try to mitigate the low penetrating deflection and just load it up with penetra penetrative plate 6 all up okay and still hyenas will do damage but other sources of missile damage would not would be enough okay or if you don't plan on using it with sloths put some concussive plates in there okay if you're gonna have sloths and this guy is just your spotter then definitely go all the way with pen plates like this and here that's a twin blade build if you're gonna have a fleet with a few of them i strongly recommend in one ship you remove the carbon fiber casing put concussive countermeasure loader 4 that's just on one ship okay and replace these missiles here with some decent countermeasures, so you know, like some planks for you probably can't put too many, okay? Like two of them, three, four that's up to you. Want to put some gales as well, so you have some counter, some anti mortars. Oops, so here's another option, okay, where you could there. So that's a setup, that's the countermeasure ship, and off you go. I mean, if you're gonna just have one as a spotter, I would probably go with something like this. Uh, if you're gonna have one ship to do damage, then it's the previous setup. Four clippers, four manuses, and here you have the different special, the carbon fiber case. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I hope that's a helpful build for you guys. See you next time, take care.